Hey everyone, so this is um, version 3 of my saltwater spa chlorination system. Had a spa now, um, a hot spring spa for about almost four and a half years. Um, it came with the hot spring saltwater chlorination um, system, which essentially is uh, it's, it's a long plastic tube. Um, that lives in the filter housing and uh, is hooked up to the main circuit board of the hot spring. Um, that worked pretty well for sort of six or nine months. Um, you have to clean the cell, soak it in a solution every sort of two to four weeks um, to clean it. Um, some people use white vinegar as well to, to clean all the build up on the plates. Um, that it didn't last very long actually and it died and I don't know why because I did always do the cleaning and stuff like that. So. Um, I went on the internet and I found another third party brand, I think it was called Saltwater Scepter. So I bought one of those, um, I can leave a link down to below as well. Very similar, um, I basically just removed the hot spring one and hooked that up. And, um, and that worked really well actually, that worked um, for about 18 months um, flawlessly. Um, I, did, uh, I did eventually disconnect the hot spring circuit board and um, just bought a cheap Chinese um, uh, Wi-Fi timer, this thing here, and hooked up the um, saltwater scepter to, to it and programmed from my cell phone um, a schedule to turn it on and off. And so during the weekdays, I would run it and often on a Sunday night after heavy use, I would um, run a long schedule. Um, anyway, that stopped working and um, I, I wrote to the, to the company and said, hey, um, this uh, unit stopped working, it's about 18 months old, um, is that normal? And they did actually reply back and said, hey look, you know, 18 to sort of 24 months is nor a normal period of time for it to last, so um, it was quite expensive, it was around four or five hundred New Zealand dollars, um, so I was like, oh man, I've got to find something that's, that's better. So what I eventually found on um, AliExpress was this brand of company called tianno.com ti-anno.com now these guys make saltwater chlorinators for pools um, but they also produced a smaller element um, this one here for spa pools um, so I ended up purchasing one um, this frame here is is the one that's really solidly made um, it's pretty thick as well as you can see and um, I've glued these fittings on the outside here um, to reduce it down for my spa pool and um, it's uh, the quality is actually really good and it was I'll put the link down below um, it was actually cheaper than the saltwater scepter and you can buy these replacement um, anodes um, on their website as well which are probably half the price of buying a new one as well and this it's actually really well made um, good o-ring good plastic and this is going to go like that and obviously nice big strong housing so um, I'm gonna install this today and see how we go now the real downside of this is it's gonna be a lot harder to clean um, the other one uh, both the hot spring and the saltwater scepter just sit in the um, in the filter so it's really easy to just pull the unit out put it in a plastic container fill it with white vinegar let it soak for half an hour an hour and then the plates are clean so I'm gonna this is going to have to go inside the spa pool um, near the pump housing and um, it's going to be a bit more of a palaver to clean but then the plates are also way way bigger so I'm thinking it's not going to need to be cleaned as often um, so yeah so I've just whipped up a, a real simple circuit here um, that I can show you this is din rail um, which I do I like buying so you can get um, din rail mounted so this is an AC to DC power supply, um, Meanwell, which is a Taiwanese brand, I believe, um, made in China, but uh, 240 volts in New Zealand, 240 volts in, and um, I've got 5 volts DC out, 10 amps, just a circuit breaker, um, and then this is just a timer um, you can control from your cell phone so it'll basically turn the turn the power on and off to this and then the DC power is going to go out of here and into here and then this just taps into the main um, spa pool um, 
circuit board on the power there so uh, yeah let's get going and, and see how it goes so this is inside my um, hot spring spa um, if you've never seen inside a spa pool before they're not that flash actually they're pretty um, <laughs> they're pretty messy underneath underneath to be honest so um, don't be shocked um, on, on what you find they're, they're pretty um, I think considering how much the spas cost and the quality of the fit out um, inside I think you'd be pretty surprised so anyway um, so what I'm basically planning to do here this is the hot water circulation pump here and this is the heater for the for the um, for the hot water so it sucks in the water here out of the spa heats it and then discharges it back into the spa pool here so I'm planning on tapping into this line here I'm gonna cut into it and then fit the salt water um, chlorine maker and that test it out so gonna undo a couple of these pipe clamps here just to take the pipe off and make sure it's gonna fit all the fittings that I've bought um, you can see here that they've glued in these PVC hard fittings that's a similar thing I'm gonna be doing and um, this is your spa pool control box this is where I get my power from and all that junk there is all the audio system. The, the spa pool actually came with a subwoofer and four speakers built into it. So it's not a small spa pool. This is 2,000 litres. You can fit about six adults in the spa. It's got three very large pump motors in it. And uh, yeah, so basically planning on putting the salt water maker down here. And uh, let's get to it and see what happens. All right, so we got the pipe off, um, off the hot water heater there. I did actually use a heat gun just to soften the plastic up a little bit to uh, to get it off. So that actually worked a treat. Literally um, 30 seconds with a heat gun, just being careful, and it came straight off. All right, so I took that pipe off, and um, it fits, which is great. So I'm going to cut the pipe down the spa. I'm going to install the T um, down here somewhere, so we can bypass the chlorine maker if we need to. Let's get to it. So here's my mock-up so far. So I just none of it's glued yet. So just there. I've got a tap there and a T, so I can bypass the um, salt chlorine maker. All right. This is the monstrosity I've created. So this is the bypass. This is the valve, so I can isolate this to clean it and similar here there's the bypass and two valves there right let's get on to doing up the wiring all right so I've wired up the an anode well at least the scene anyway uh, I've glued all of this in place now so um, turned out pretty well won't really know, I'm going to leave it for 24 hours to dry. I think I'm not really worried about the PVC joins. The only join I'm really worried about is this join here, the flexible hose. So that's one join there, and that join there. The only because PVC cement actually, I think, I think it actually melts the PVC pipe, that's how it joins it together. But um, anyway, and I've got the control box installed, I've just got to wire up the DC wiring. To the middle there and uh, yeah we'll go from there all right all right we've got the finished result ignore the there's four wires but it's only because I wanted a bit thicker wire so I just doubled up two reds and two blacks so I've just cable tied it along there and uh, taken it up there and then into the um, the DC power supply so uh, yeah I'm gonna tidy up now finish for the day and then um, wait for it for drive 24 hours and come back tomorrow and try it out.